because I'm like I know I know I know she's not about to talk to me I know she's not about to talk to me hey you guys welcome back to my channel it's the one and the only Mimi in today's video we have another story time video but first if you're new here make sure you click that red subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and hit that bell notification so I know you really gang but before we start I feel like I have to do a little um motherfucking disclaimer because people are really weird to me so i just want to do a disclaimer for my story time videos because i feel as though people they got the wrong type of idea of me and they just trying to assume shit and they really looking dumb as hell my story times are not to bash anybody they are personally my experiences my life lessons and i want to share it here on my platform because this is my channel y'all i am not doing this to bash people that is why i'm using fake names and if that person watches my video they know who they are they know what they did and it's not going to change the fact that they still did what they did to me and you know i learned from that shit help other people who are maybe going through similar situations all the situation and life lessons i've ever been in I'm going to share it with them. You are getting upset about stories that happened like four years ago. I need you to click off this video and really seek some help. Like I'm being dead ass because it's not that deep. So in other words, mind your business. In honor of back to school time, I wanted to do a story time that takes place in my high school y'all know that i did not like my high school it was okay but it wasn't my cup of tea y'all know a lot of my story times have happened in high school because a lot of people just really fucked with me then killer happened in one of my classes and i really want to thank lauren yes i'm saying her name lauren for inspiring me to do this video today um she is just a wonderful person and she like just talking to her I, I remember all the funniest things that happened in this class this shit happened in like 11th grade i was in 11th grade and y'all know people for for people who really know me they know that i used to sing in chorus like all the time like chorus was my thing ever since from middle school to like sophomore year i believe chorus was my shit i think i took a turn and i didn't want to do chorus no more so i decided to do child development had a new teacher i'm gonna name her miss mabel because she just reminded me of like a sweet old lady like she was just so sweet like you ain't think she was gonna hurt a fly but bitch was like the fuck wrong so i felt cool in her class i didn't feel no no type of problem i didn't feel no type of drama no type of nothing like you know me and this teacher was cool i was like i respect my elders anyway so that's what it is a time where you could still change your classes if you want to but it wasn't the first you know week of school it was like probably like the second or the third but like you could still change your class if you want to so you know teachers always give out those stupid let me get to know you type of paper and stuff like that so i remember we were doing like a whole bunch of activities for her to get to know us because the kids didn't come until later in the year so we, like, we were literally forced to learn about this lady and this lady was forced to learn about us i mean we was doing all these back to school activities and getting to know you activities but the bitch still didn't know what our names was i used to sit with you know a group of people that i fucks with i used to i used to sit by lauren okay lauren was at my table this girl named afrada i don't even know where that bitch went like literally i only remember her being there for like the first couple of weeks of class so it was lauren who sat with me afrada you know my ex best friend she sat by me and some other people but it was cool like it was a table of girls and you know we was always fucking with each other you know we was cool we was like bat 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 you know like i said me and lauren was cool for anybody who wanted to know and wanted to be nosy as fuck i forgot to mention that you know she didn't say that she's a racist because like who just yells oh i'm a racist who just says that shit who just goes around saying that shit but a lot of people were saying that people were saying that she treated people of color differently than um caucasian people you know i didn't really know if that was true or not but from the stuff that she would say and do in like certain situations that i would see her i can kind of testify that that was a little bit correct somebody of color would say something and then she would mock them 
and i feel as though that is just something that you don't do as in a whole adult mocking people and doing that is a no-no like you a grown-ass woman act like it so when i mean mocking like say something be like oh my gosh she would be like oh my gosh or like if somebody was you know looking at her she'd be like 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 sh like i hate i just hate when people try to act ghetto i hate when people do that and that's just like kind of what rubbed me the wrong way is because she never did mock the caucasian kids she just mocked the people of color and yeah that that's why people will say that she was racist and had an issue with you know people of color minorities period like she didn't treat them the same right at that table and it was a group of girls yes we was going to talk a lot but we still got the work done and it's like i am not a loud person you know i'm not gonna go on my way to be loud or be disrespectful to any adult if they tell me to be quiet i'm gonna be quiet but um miss mabel just could not control the class like she, she i just felt so bad for her because they would have to like you know those students in the classroom be like could you please be quiet can you please shut up she is trying to teach she is trying to do like you know them you know them students that thinking they do something but they're not doing nothing the whole time they need to shut the fuck up and she'd be like thank you and it's like no you shouldn't you shouldn't need nobody else to help you control your classroom like you gotta be the one to tell these people to shut the fuck up you gotta lay down the law because you the teacher you getting paid for this not them my class wasn't as as bad as her other class and she would literally tell us that she was like this class is okay it's not as bad as my what like her six period class or her seven period some her six period class sis did not know like i don't know why sis decided to teach high schoolers if you cannot control them one day we're doing an activity i remember this vividly we were doing a bear like a little bear like a teddy bear thing i don't know what it was like i don't know but i remember i wanted to do it so nice and neat i wanted to do it so pretty like i came in that classroom with a game plan a game plan i was like i'm gonna have the prettiest bear it's gonna represent me and my story and what i come from and all this she has it laid out for us she has the the scissors she had the the crayon the colored pencils the markers and you know i some selecting my colors you know i'm getting the sharpened crayons you know what i'm saying i ain't getting no dull colors over here boy Fuck down and i'm start working on my shit quietly working on my shit quietly the classroom is just talking they is just talking loud goofing off you know being disrespectful and miss mabel is losing it she is losing it like you can see her just pacing back and around in classroom she's like oh my god like she did not know what to do and like teachers they love to call security for some reason and like when the whole time you can handle the situation by yourself but they just love to call security you can't get them to be quiet they laughing in her face i find i personally find it disrespectful if a teacher is trying to um get the class quiet and they's laughing in her face and being disrespectful i just feel like that shit is just you know it's 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 a time and place for all this but when i get a craft to do when i get some artwork to do i am quiet as fuck I am concentrated, I am focused, and I am doing the damn thing. So, I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to make this teddy bear pretty as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So, I wasn't really talking to them, but they was talking to each other. You know, they was having their own conversation. And Miss Mabel decides to pull up on our table. Sis, you can't sit with us. What you doing? Sis, you can't, you can't, you cannot sit with us, sis. What do you, everybody knew that the table that we was at was the most lit table ever. Okay, you can, we can argue, like... Our table was the most lit table ever. Period. But she decides to come over because she can't control her classroom. She decides to say, I'm going to switch seats right in the middle of me coloring, you know? So I'm like, I'm hearing this, but I'm not looking up at her. I'm just coloring my goddamn teddy bear because, bitch, I like to do art. That's what Because y'all don't know how to be quiet. But it's like she's directing all of this, all of this verbalness and all of this all of this attitude to our table but i'm not i'm not looking at her i'm not saying anything like i'm literally the quietest one at the table y'all i'm the quietest one at the table i'm just trying to get this bear done because i'm like lord knows what will happen if i don't get to finish this teddy bear y'all it's, it's that serious for real like when i don't when i have a project to do and i don't finish yeah i get serious as fuck well because i feel decides to come over to our table and she's like i'm moving y'all she was like so i'm gonna need two of y'all to go over there and 
I'm going to bring two of them to come over here so we can mix up the table so everybody can be mixed up. And it's like, she wasn't doing this at everyone's table. She just came to our table. So, like, now I'm feeling it some type of way because I don't think I mentioned this, but everybody at the table that I was at are black girls. We're all black girls, and the people that she wanted to move, they were all black boys. And nobody said anything because she was like, I'm going to need two of y'all to move over there so like she's asking two of us to get up and move over there so like literally nobody said anything like we all fell silent i mean i was already silent but everybody fell silent and i'm still continue to do my teddy bear because i'm like i know i know i know she's not about to talk to me i know she's not about to talk to me i just know she let us choose who we wanted to sit by and it's like we never really gave her no problems it was everybody else so why are you trying to you know what I'm saying? Like you, I feel I feel targeted. I feel targeted. Like okay, I'm just gonna choose. So she chose me, and she chose my ex best friend, the girl I used to fuck with heavily. And I'm like, what? I was like, I said, I know she's not talking about me. And everybody was looking at me because literally, I don't come across as a person who, you know, is like really hostile and stuff, like quiet the whole damn time. And I was like, I know you're not talking about me. And she was like, yeah, I need Drew and her to move. You know, y'all still will be together, but y'all just won't be here at this table. I'm like, what you talking about? I was like, why? I said, what do I need to move for? I was like, I'm the only one who's doing the project. I said, I'm the only one who is doing what you asked me to do, and I'm being quiet, and I'm doing what I'm doing. And she was like, yeah, I know, but you you just need to get up and go over there because y'all, y'all, we just need to spit, split y'all up. And so Lauren was like, she was like, it's okay, I will go over there. And she was like, no, I like, no, I need Tamia to get up now and move over there. So it's like, I kind of felt targeted. I kind of felt a little bit of attitude that she was throwing at me. And one thing that you're not going to do, I don't care if you're an adult or, or what, what are you are. Like, I don't care. What you're not going to do is disrespect me, period. Because if you want respect in return, you're going to have to give me some respect period so she's like trying to argue with me because i'm like i'm telling her i'm like i'm not going nowhere bro i'm telling her this i'm like i'm not going nowhere bro you're not about to make me go nowhere she's like so she decides to try to pick up my stuff harpo come get this woman it's mabel what are you doing why are you touching my stuff why are you touching me and then she tried to touch me don't touch me, Miss Mabel. Now I'm like, she wants she wants these problems. So it's like I'm literally about I'm literally going off on everybody in the damn classroom. I'm like, if you put me over there with them boys, I'ma slap each and every one of them. And everybody's like, oh my god. Cause like the whole DC came out of me and all that shit. Boys, I guarantee you I will slap each and every one of them. And everybody was like And she was like, Why? And so I'm like, I'm still sitting down. I'm like, you're not about to touch my shit. You're not about to touch my shit, period. Like that's the one thing about me is like I do like I back the stuff that I say up period like I back it up and she's still trying to make me get up and stuff like you can't make me do anything I don't want to do I'm like you can't say I'm like nah like I'm about to finish this teddy bear bro real life if you don't get up when I count to five I'm gonna call security I was like all right go ahead call them security I, you don't even need to count to five you can go ahead and call security right now because I'm not about to get up nothing so it's like now i feel as though she really was targeting me and shit like that she really was trying to come for me because she knew that everybody at my table we was all friends we was all cool and she just wanted us to split that shit up like she already knew that none of us wanted to go and be with another group and like yeah you can say it wasn't that serious but it was that serious because i'm not doing nothing we wasn't being disrespectful i was just trying to get my little teddy bear done so security comes and he trying to talk to me and like it's a security guard that i don't even fuck with and it's like why are you talking to me sir i don't even like you you don't even, like you making me 10 times heated i don't care about what he's saying i don't he's like come on man you just need to move like it's either you move or i'm gonna take you down to the office man like you won't it, it's not that serious he's like man you really called me down here for that like he was like you don't want to be that girl and i'm like what you talking about i'm like that girl what is that girl what are you talking about he was like, oh you don't want to be like that girl that girl this that girl that like he's saying some real type of stuff that's like rubbing me the wrong way at this point i'm the only one who is really getting upset here like 
Like, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm just the only one who's getting upset because at the end of the day, like, this is what I do. Like, coloring is what I do. I'm a Picasso bitch. And all this rude ass shit to me, and I don't like that shit. So I just got up and I just left. And then he wanted to say some smart ass shit when I walked out the door talking about some. Oh, see, that was the real problem. No, bitch, you is the real problem. The fuck? So I remember I walked my ass all the way to um the assistant principal and I was telling her how I felt and all that shit and I was telling her how I felt targeted and I was feeling like how she really wanted to come with, for me because it's like I gave this bitch I gave Miss Mabel a week I gave her two weeks to like prove to me that she wasn't this racist person that everybody was saying that she was going to be you know that she was like a good teacher and stuff I gave this girl like three weeks and she over here already trying to come for me I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. And then I called my mom. Anytime something happens in high school, I call up my mom and tell her and let her know what's going to happen. Because just in case they felt the need to try to give me detention or try to do some dumb ass shit, my mom is going to be up to par. So my mom sends the lady an email. She's like, oh, no, I was not trying to come for her. I wasn't. I, I'm sorry if she took it that type of way, you know, blah, 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 da, 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 da. and it's like. I don't know what's wrong with that lady because I came back. I decided to give her another chance and not switch my class. And she was like, you can sit whatever you want to. You, you scared me the other day. You're not supposed to, like, bro, you're not supposed to tell a student that you're scared of them. You're not supposed to do that. Like, I, people be hiring anybody these days, bro. Don't mess with me when I'm doing my artwork, bro. You need my assistance with something. You need my help with something. I got you. But when I'm doing my artwork... When I'm doing a project, nah, bro, you're not about to district. Nah, hell no. Nah. And so ever since then, I got to sit wherever I wanted to sit. I got to keep my group where I sit at. You know, we was in a group and we got to sit with them and it was cool. Like, life was cool. Like, she didn't have, she didn't do no, um, no ghetto shit with me. She didn't mock me. She didn't, like, you know, taunt me. Because she would do that. Like, y'all, I, I wish... I had a recording because somebody recorded her taunting a student and like mocking them and teasing them and stuff like that. Like, because somebody was like, Can you stop? She's like, Can you stop? Like, <laughs> yeah, ever since that day, she was cool with me. You know, she asked me questions. You know, she said I can come to her room whenever I wanted to. And she ended up being a, um, somebody that I can put on my resume and shit like that. So it just goes to show you that you got to fight for what you believe in. Yep, I felt like Rosa Parks that day. So that I wanna like that's a lesson that don't let nobody disrespect you. Don't let anybody disrespect you. Don't let anybody um talk to you any kind of way. And if you feel like they're being disrespectful and stuff to you, you need to speak up and tell either an administrator, assistant principal, or even your parent. Talk to your parent because high school is going to be really crazy. Just letting you that know, letting you that I'm letting you know now. And there's going to be a lot of teachers that you may not like. A lot of teachers may not like you, but you got to talk to a counselor. You got to talk to somebody. You just can't let that shit go by. <laughs> So yeah, you guys, if you like videos like that, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Give this video a big thumbs up. Turn on your post notification because YouTube be playing with me. And yeah, um, to the weirdo who be watching my videos and trying to put two and two together, I see you. You can't put two and two together. So stop looking stupid. Go get some help. Bye.